Where's the creep? Oh, why are you on the floor? <sighs> I'm having an anxiety day. So that's it? You're not gonna talk about movies like a nerd? Uh... Hey, look! I'm that cartoon you get creepy about! The, uh, the power punch kid? Let's save the world and go to bed! That's what she says! Uh... Great. Thanks for making me degrade myself in front of an audience for nothing. You know, it's not much fun for me to make you miserable if you're already miserable. Yeah, that must be rough. I'm really bleeding for you over here. <sighs> okay, what are you worried about? I'm worried I'll never be happy again. Well, yeah, that's a reasonable fear. It's a very real possibility. I gotta be honest, your bedside manner isn't great. Well, what do you want? I'm Goofball the Goofy Cartoon Ghost, not Goofball the Make You Feel Better and Suck Your Dick Ghost. Cheering people up is very alien to me. Goofball, I'm not interested in listening to your Bart Simpson ass mouth flapping at me right now. So can you just leave me alone so I can focus on how much I hate my life in peace? You used to want to do this show once a week, now you're not even doing it once a month. I've been sick. Oh, you're faking it. I had a kidney stone. I had to go to the emergency room. Huh, guess that explains all the blood in the toilet. If you're so anxious, then why don't you get some exercise to work off that energy? I can't. I'm too tired from my depression. Well, the dorks who watch this show probably don't tune in to see you lying on a dirty yellow rug. Come on, don't you want to talk about... Disney's Moana? Oh, Moana. Oh, Moana. What a great film. What could be more relatable than a princess with a beautiful tan who lives in a tropical paradise? Oh, man, I can't wait to listen to her sing about how much she loves her island. Moana, if you love your island so much, then why don't you just fucking marry it? Because frankly, I don't give a shit about your island, and I hope the whole fucking thing sinks into the ocean. But hey, at least Disney finally made made a movie about a feisty girl who stands up for herself. Thank God! Disney, if your ideals are really so all-inclusive, then how come there's no Disney princess who's a bald, fat cartoonist? I'll tell you why, because you're a bunch of bigots, and you refuse to pay any regard to the bald, fat adults who watch your movies intended for children. Moana, I don't give a blue Fuck about your beautiful tan, your beautiful hair, your beautiful singing voice, your beautiful tropical paradise, or your adorable cartoon pig. And I certainly don't give a fuck about your quirky grandma. The only grandma I care about is the one who puts the motherfucking chocolate chunks in my Wunker Bunkers. You know what you are, Moana? You're a teenage girl. And that means you're horrible. What do you have against teenage girls? Goofball, it's a scientific fact that teenage girls are the worst human beings on the planet. Um, I feel like I should disagree, but I'm failing to find an argument. I guess not even anxiety can quell the dumpage of my powerfully analytical brain. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to drown my sorrows in leviathan chunks of chocolate. Seems like a lot of your opinions are colored by your own bitterness. All right, look, Disney is very good at making impressively polished films. Good acting, good animation, properly structured stories, they got that shit down. But the idyllic, unblemished worlds they create lack the grit and imperfections of the world that I know. I mean, for crying out loud, am I the only one who thinks it's a little weird that none of these characters have any body hair? A world where everybody has perfect brown skin, a perfect singing voice, and the weather is perfect every day just kind of ends up feeling dissociative and artificial. But I'm not faulting the movie for this. Fantasizing about the perfect world can be fun. This movie is essentially an escapist fantasy for nine-year-old girls. Moana is a beautiful princess with beautiful hair, beautiful skin, and a beautiful singing voice. And that's great for her, and it's great for the nine-year-olds who want to be her, but for me, all it does is remind me of all the things I'll never have. Cause I'm bald and fat. As an adult man, my escapist fantasies are a little different, and in the eyes of many of you, probably a lot more sexist. They basically just involve being a badass who's romantically available to hot babes. So let me get this straight. You're saying this is a bad movie because you're bald and fat. Well, I can either be a critic who claims to be impartial, which is, of course, a ridiculous fallacy, or I can be a critic who admits his biases openly. Adolf, you can't have my cereal!
Well, maybe if you weren't so anxious and miserable all the time, you could enjoy a movie about happy things. There's nothing wrong with Moana. The problem is that I can only enjoy a movie I don't relate to so much. When a critic sees a movie they don't like, sometimes they'll impose flaws on it that aren't there. And that seems unfair to me. The boring reality is that not every movie is for everyone. There's a subjective nature to all artistic expression. So even though determining whether or not a film showcases technical skill is somewhat objective, things like relatability are basically the opposite of objective. Moana, you love your island? Good for you! I hope you and your family continue inbreeding there forever. But not all of us are lucky enough to be born a literal princess. If you want evidence that relatability is important to storytelling, all you have to do is look five minutes before the movie even started. The animated short Inner Workings is the story of a guy who's afraid of death, relatable, is frustrated by his necessity to eat healthy foods, so relatable, and feels unfulfilled by his life being spent in front of a computer screen all day. What is is this a cartoon about me? Hashtag relatable, baby. Honestly, I would have preferred if the entire movie had been about this guy. I also think this more stylized character design is a lot more fun. Talking about all this shit has just made me more anxious. Thanks a lot, goofball. Hey, I know what'll cheer you up. Let's watch Raggedy Ann and Andy, a musical adventure. I don't like Raggedy Ann and Andy. I'll have you know that that kind of schmaltzy juvenile entertainment is beneath a strong, tough, and terrific boy like myself. Oh, really? Cause I think you love it. Well, I don't, and there's nothing you can do to prove otherwise. Oh, you can squeeze me, tease me, say I'm your own, but I'm no girl's toy. You, you can, can charm, charm me, chase me, follow me home. home. I, I won't be coy. coy. You, you may not, not like it much, but I'm my own best boy. And not some sugar and spicy, lacy and nicey, sissy you're gonna enjoy. Why, you little... I'll teach you to make me sing show tunes in public. I'm Max G. This was my brain dump of the week, and I hope you hate it. Get fucked by a tornado, you hideous backward snot nibbler! I think this rug is just painted on the floor.